For the full version of this video, go to my description. I will leave a link. If the price of butter is constantly going up, maybe you need to can your butter. Start off with unsalted butter. Make sure you have all your canning supplies. You will need a pressure canner for this. Make sure you check your manual for what your PSI should be. My pounds per pressure is 11. Place jars in the oven. Now get busy taking all the butter out and placing it into your pot. Cook on a low to not scorch it and melt the butter. Once the butter has fully melted, then you turn your eye up high and keep stirring, don't walk away from it. It's not boiling, but it is separating. Now with this foam, you can skim that off just like that. So as soon as you start to see that bubble, turn it off because it's gonna continue to cook. Take jars out of oven. Give it a little stir before you scoop it. That way you're separating things. They'll join back up later. And stir it up. In case any air pockets are in there. But we're about to clean these off, put the lids and the rings on and put them in a can. Clean your jars, your lids. And it is hot, so be careful. Fingertip tight. Well, now we got that done, like so. We're gonna put it into the can. So now we're gonna go into the pot. Remember, you don't want the water to go above your lids. That's a no-no. We are pressure canning. Put these in. Oh, it's so pretty. All you have is this at the bottom. Those are your fats. It's all good. They're all gonna to mix together. And as you can see, my water is not over my lids. So now we're gonna put the remainder of our vinegar in here in hopes that our jars won't look cloudy when it's all said and done. Before you place the lid on your canner, make sure that you have greased the lid and the canner. Make sure dowel gauge is working before pressure canning. Turn the eye on high. Once the vent pipe starts venting, Full vent, set your timer for 10 minutes. Come back after the 10 minutes, place your weight gauge on it and pressure can it for 75 minutes. I will be pressure canning mine at a PSI of 11 because I am over a thousand feet. Okay, so the timer just went off. We held steady at 11 between 11 and 13. So do not do anything else right now. Turn your eye off. Let it come down on its own. Don't take anything off. Don't take your weight off. Let your gauge go down to zero and make sure that your nipple button is down, okay? Then you can open it up. So we'll come back when that happens. Just twist it, and then you're gonna turn it away from you so that the water and the steam is not on you. Cause I'm good for dropping hot water on my foot. They're already popping and pinging. Make sure you have something down on your counter so when you're taking them out of the pot, you're not directly putting them on anything that's cold because you don't want hot and cold to mix. Leave them out overnight so that they can solidify. After they cool down, clean your jars, take your rings off, label your jars, and store them well. And they're still cooking. That's what you're seeing. Please hit the like button if this video was helpful. And it's not a lot that's separated that's down here. So it's not a lot, lot for me to toss. Now this is the one that I bought from the store. You see that? Guys, you can do this. You can do this.
So we have eight jars, and then we still have this one right here that's gonna go in the refrigerator that we'll use.